So one of the problems with some of these cheap scopes like the uh, Hantec 1008C and some of the other Hantec scopes is that they uh, don't have AC coupling. So for instance, if you want to look at something like uh, the AC ripple on your alternator, you're going to have trouble seeing that. Now, like for instance, on this uh, particular car, this, uh, this image I saved, the AC ripple is really, really bad. It's over a volt. So when you're on two volts per division, um, you can actually see it here. This is connected to the alternator post, right? But this is connected to the, um, to the battery post, right? And you can't even really see it very well on the battery post here. Um, just as a side note, what I'm going to talk about here is how to make a, your own AC coupling adapter, right? Now, one trick you can do with these hand techs, um, let me just bring this up here real quick. Uh, okay, let's see this this video right here. One of the tricks you can do with the hand techs, and that's not the video I wanted. Um, where was the video I wanted? Let's pause this for a second while I find the Okay, so I found the video I was looking for. So one of the tricks you can do with the uh, hand techs is you can take and, and use the math function. Look down here, you'll see. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it says math scale, 200 millivolts. But basically, one of the things you can do is, uh, if you want to see the uh, AC ripple on your alternator, is you can take here is the, uh, the yellow line here is the alternator post. The blue line is the uh, battery positive post. And use the math function to subtract the battery voltage from the alternator voltage. And then here, this red line, you can see the AC ripple. Um, but there are limitations to doing that, and it's, it's not the best method, but like if you're really stuck, then uh, then you can do that, all right? But uh, what you really want to do, let's just uh, look over here real quick at something else I've got. So here, I built my own uh, pressure transducer, and what I used is I used a DROC 2203 uh, buck converter as the power source because so that I can just you know, hook up to the car battery, I don't have to carry around batteries and things like that, right? But I had discovered is that I was getting a lot of noise in the signal, right? Uh, to make a long story short, I inserted a, uh, a uh, resistor and a capacitor into it, but that's not the point of this. The point of this is reading, reading the AC voltage. Now, right here, we're set to uh, one volt per division, and you can kind of see here that there's, this is a five volt signal and you can see there's a little bit of noise it looks like but you can't really tell what's going on until you actually try and start you know hooking up the transducer and seeing things but um, it's hard to see AC voltage uh, AC ripple sometimes on top of another signal so you want to AC couple right so one way you can do that really a very simple way you can do that is you can take a, a, a capacitor and just put that in series uh, with an extra alligator clip right um, I'm going to do that real quick and show you the result. Okay, so you can see here I've just taken the, my capacitor, which is a 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor. It's a Mylar one, I think. You can pick them up at any electronics store. And you'll see, like, uh, my signal looks like it's disappeared, right? Because uh, the capacitor only allows the AC voltage to pass through and blocks the DC voltage. So if I go down here, and I'll, let's, let's raise this up, uh, and all of a sudden you can see that signal, right? Okay, so what's the point? It looks the same, basically. The point is, is now I can increase, or actually decrease, the volts per division without the signal going off the screen. That's 200 millivolts, 100 millivolts. You're already starting to see something here. 50 millivolts. Now 20 millivolts, now you can see very clearly the uh, AC uh, ripple that was riding on top of that 5 volt signal, right? So there are a lot of times when the ability to do this is useful, like say if you want to do a relative compression test, um, it would be nice to be able to see just the, uh, the, the oscillations, uh, but that can be kind of hard when you're using your, your uh, amperage clamp because, uh, you know, you have to be set to like 20 or 40 or you know amps per division in order to keep the uh, the uh, the signal the uh, the waveform on the screen, right? So what 
something that's useful is like you have these attenuators you use. Like say if you want to hook up to um, to like your uh, your injectors, right? You want to measure measure the voltage on your injectors. You use an attenuator like this, and you just stick this here on front. Then you hook your your leads up to this, and uh, and you're and you're good to go. So my idea here is to take and basically build something like that. Except I'm going to take two a um, female and male BNC connectors, a little box that I've drilled a hole in, a little piece of wire from my ground side, and I'm going to take this capacitor and just stick it in the middle, basically. And then I've got a, basically, a AC coupling adapter that I can hook up to any, um, any probe that I want to use to my uh, uh, amperage clamp or anything else that I want to use to, me to measure, you know, any kind of AC signal like that, like my AC ripple on my alternator or during a relative compression test. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together real quick and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I got everything <laughs> soldered together. You can see here, kind of, that uh, I've got the male BNC on one side. Why the focus on this thing is horrible. But um, all I did is took the wires on the, stuck the wires in soldered them in place, then took and uh, soldered a uh, another wire here for the ground, on the ground side, and it's all hooked up there. And you can see here I've got my AC signal. So now I've got my, my AC adapter, and I have a cute little lid I can put on the box here. Um, it's a good idea probably to hot glue these things in place and uh, um, you see this connector here, I'm not quite getting it in on all the way, but um, but okay, that's pretty good though. That's, that's working and that's probably a couple of dollars, maybe like less than five dollars in parts at a hobby electronics store. And this will work for AC ripple, it'll work like say if you have your pressure transducer hooked up to the intake manifold and you want to see the, the pressure waves in the intake manifold, this is a good way to get more detail on that. And uh, whatever, there's probably other things and also for a relative compression tests um, to see uh, AC ripple on the amperage, the current side, you see the on, on your alternator also when you're using the current clamp for that. So there are a couple of things that this will be useful for.